Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for July 1st, 2019. Holy cow, it's already July, and the bulls are in full on beast mode this morning. We had uh, obviously the G20 meeting, everyone was focused on the G20 meeting. The results of that meeting seem to have the bulls very, very, very happy this morning. And we're looking at a massive gap up this morning. So what happened? Well, I guess um, uh, we had a little kumbaya moment. Uh, U.S. and China came together, decided to resume negotiations. Ceasefire in the tariff situation. There's no new tariffs as of this morning and no talk of new tariffs, but the existing tariffs remain in place. So really nothing has changed along those lines, except we're going to resume negotiations. Unfortunately, according to like the head of um, economics um, at Morgan Stanley, he described it as kind of an uncertain pause. And the reason he described it that way is there's no clear path to a resolution of this, um, this deal. So we still have uh, months and months of probably uh, tough negotiations uh, to go through. But at least there was no escalation in in this uh, trade war. So that is a good thing. That is a good sign. But certainly there is no clear path to a deal. The fact that the bulls are just so extremely bullish this morning, uh, pretty amazing. And it looks like we're likely going to set some new record highs today in the market. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. We're going to be flying high. Uh, this morning at the open. Also keep in mind that the market will close early on Wednesday, which means there's a very high likelihood the volumes will be, be begin to quickly decline here over the next couple of days. Any short traders are likely to be squeezed out this morning. We could see that market pop even higher, but just keep in mind, be careful not to chase because those volumes will probably sink away as we head into that 4th of July holiday. So let's take a look at um, the technicals of the chart and see what we have going on here. Well, first off, we see we have a bullish trend, current trend bullish. We're holding holding right here at these price support levels in this chart. And you can see this morning, we're looking to gap up substantially. Right now, morning gap is suggested to open right about in here. Really strong move up this morning. And if we were to break out to all-time new highs in the diamonds, we need to breach that little line right there to catch that new record all-time new high print um, in the market. Whether we can close up there, that's a different question. Just keep in mind, if we break out of this level, there's blue sky above, no resistance in the Dow chart. Um, past that point. So watch that closely. Also, kind of keep in mind, if we do see some sellers coming in, if we get that pop and drop pattern, any hold above this price level right in here, I think would be pretty, pretty substantial, pretty strong. Um, you know, the pop and drop is certainly possible. I think there's going to be a little bit of follow through this morning, just because anyone caught short is going to be squeezed out today. But as you can see, any pop up here, if we do find those sellers coming in, um, any, any hold in here um, would still be relatively bullish and give us that opportunity that we could still move up from this level. And also, I would say any, any hold above the 50-day moving average is pretty much a win for the bulls. So holding up strong there. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY getting a massive gap this morning. Um, SPY at this point looks like it could gap to a brand new record high this morning. Just really popping up here strong. So um, any short traders likely going to get squeezed out. We could certainly see some follow through to that new record high pushing us on higher. Remember, if those bears decide to push back, we have this level of support right in here in the price and any pullback in here, if it holds above there, we're going to be in great shape um, in the market. And then 
also that 50 day moving average below yeah i think anything above that 50 day is a win for the bulls so um, we're in really good shape here and in a current uptrend. There's just no doubt about it. The bulls are in control. They're very, very happy here. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues are looking at another very massive gap up this morning. Not going to quite make those a uh, record high breakout. Uh, but you can see we're going to possibly break above the high that we had here in June uh, this morning. That means any kind of a short squeeze could push us even higher toward this record high breakout in the chart. That'll be the resistance up here this morning in the queues. And if the bulls can push us on through there, hey, we have new records, blue sky above um, here in the NASDAQ. So watch that closely as we gap up this morning. If once again, those bears decide to push back, I think anything that holds above this level right here is very, very bullish. And that 50-day moving average below, we stay above that 50-day. The bulls are still in control here. Trend is up. Trend is strong. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM moving up here. Now, we had a surprising move the last couple of days in IWM after just being just ugly bearish for such a long time. Um, IWM moving up and gapping higher this morning, very near to its downtrend in the chart. So we're going to want to watch this level right in here as a possible resistance level, somewhere between here and this price resistance in the chart, right across here. So we're gapping up into that area this morning. We could see those bulls squeeze those any short traders in here out, and that means we could pop through here and really move up to attack highs up in here. So watch that closely. If we break above that downtrend and can hold that as support, um, there's signs of bullishness even in IWM. So keep an eye on that. And once again, if the bears find this level and defend this level here, just watch if we pull back in here, there's uh, sufficient su support um, in this chart in several places where it could catch and still um, um, come around and be okay but it would be pretty ugly to see this fail once again at this downtrend line where we failed so many times before so let's watch that close here in IWM has an opportunity to become bullish today let's take a look at the VIX the VIX has just been the a very weird chart it's like that I don't know. It's it's just been odd how it's just really not had much price movement in it at all. Now, this morning with the big gap up, we should see the VIX gapping lower. And, and if those bulls stay strong all day, we could see that gap lower and continuing to move lower. We're getting very, very low here um, um, in the VIX, suggesting possible... Uh, complacency kind of coming into the market that no one believes that the market could ever fall or go lower and they're buying with both hands so watch that closely I, I always get a little bit nervous and very watchful when we reach down in here in these levels of complacency for um, just that's where the real shocks can occur so watch that closely but right now there is nothing here to fear in the VIX the VIX is showing strength we're in a current downtrend in the VIX broke down through this level of support and now we're going to gap lower so no fear whatsoever um, in the VIX right now let's take a look at T2122 and this, this should give everyone just a little bit of pause. T2122 finished the day last week um, extremely high. Um, right up here in that bearish reversal zone. Now we're gapping up on news nearly 300 points. And in that move up, we're going to be clear up. We're going to be pegged up here at the top. So watch that closely. One of the things you don't want to do today, I think, is chase this morning gap rushing into the market thinking that um, it's all uh, blue skies above we may be reaching a bit of an oversold condition here in the market now that doesn't mean that we can't stay over 
I'm excuse me, overbought, um, an overbought condition. Um, can, doesn't mean that we can't stay overbought for a period of time. And you've seen that over here. We can stay overbought for a while, but let's just keep in mind, we're stretching this rubber band really, really tight to the upside. So we'll want to watch that closely and just be careful not to chase. We don't want to be chasing and buying in right at the top of the market. Um, we could move on higher. Just remember the holiday that we have is likely going to see subdued results over the next couple of days after this morning gap. So this gap may be the biggest move. Um, right up or through the rest of the week and then we'll have to wait and see where we go from there but right now just watch that closely as we gap up into this top or top reaches of of t21 22 let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today because our economic calendar could have something to say about the way the market moves today um, on that economic calendar today we have pmi manufacturing comes out at 9:45. Followed by the big number of the day, the ISM uh, manufacturing number. That definitely has the ability to move the market around. So we'll want to pay attention to that one today at 10 o'clock. And then we have construction spending at 10 p.m. So watch those pretty closely today. Those will have something to say about how the market responds overall um, by the end of the day. Keep in mind, um, Wednesday, the market closes early. So with the market closing early on Wednesday, we're going to have um, traders probably heading out for the weekend. Everybody's pretty bullish and confident right now that um, the market's going to hold up. So it wouldn't be a really big surprise that we start seeing some of these trading floors starting to empty out pretty quickly as everyone starts heading out to celebrate the holiday. And with the holiday being placed on a Thursday, um, market closing early on Wednesday, there's a very good chance volumes could stay extremely low through the rest of the week. So watch that closely and, and, and think about that as you plan your trading here this week, we could see really light, choppy uh, price action. Um, sometime after this morning hype kind of uh, dissipates, the volumes could really begin to shrink quickly. So kind of keep that in mind as you plan your week forward. Let's take a look. Um, well, actually, before we do that, um, on the earnings calendar, we have about 14 companies reporting earnings this morning. I didn't see any of them that were particularly notable. So I don't expect those earnings reports to really move the market around at all today. Um, everything's going to be all wrapped up in the excitement over um, over the the resumption of trade negotiations. So that's where we are here in the market. And remember, that's really all that 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 truly occurred um, other than the president removing some of the restrictions, some of the restrictions from Huawei so that um, chip makers can sell to um, to Huawei. But um, other than that, nothing has changed. Uh, the tariffs stay in place um, and negotiations are resuming. So um, it just kind of keep that in mind. And, and when you think about this giant gap this morning, um, and be careful not to chase. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon when that pop-up window comes up so that you can be notified every time I post a video on every market day there's a video that I post um, on market preparation. And I do this um, to just to help. Um, I don't intend to make money from this. Uh, that's not the purpose of these videos. The, the purpose of this is to truly help others do a better job in preparation for the day, to think about all of the things that could be affecting the market today and how you might want to approach uh, the market for your trading day. I believe preparation is far more important than luck. And if you find these videos helpful, would you do me a favor? 
click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You don't have to leave a long dissertation comment, just something very, very brief. That helps these algorithms show these videos to more people. I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much to those who do. You guys are awesome. You're the best. And I don't know if you guys noticed this morning, but this weekend we went just, just finally went over 6,000 subscribers. So very, very cool. Um, we are still growing and we are growing nicely. So thank you everyone for that. Um, all that credit goes to you. Now with that, let's take a look at some stocks that are really setting up and holding up and looking pretty good overall. If you, um, if you have any interest at all in uh, cannabis stocks, you might want to start keeping an eye on TLRY. TLRY breaking its downtrend. Notice that nice downtrend break starting to rally higher here. Now TLRY still has a little bit of work to do, um, but we're above our 50 day moving average. And you can see this beautifully nice and controlled pullback in here setting up for the chart. And I have an alert placed on that chart right there at that pink line. So I'm keeping an eye on this. Now keep in mind, everyone, that none of the charts that I show in the um, show in this video um, are a recommendation to buy or sell anything. These are meant to put on your watch list to kind of watch um, watch these uh, potential trades develop and see how they go. But as you can see, we have this nice little rising trend. This is just nice, one of those nice little stair stepper uh, patterns or just stepping itself right on up here. And now but holding above the 50 day moving average, we want to wait for that buy signal to come in here and maybe poke that higher. And with that in mind, take a look at Crone. Crone also in that potential situation where we're holding right there above that 50 day moving average, we're hanging in this nice little tight consolidation. Might want to keep an eye on that. That's another one of those cannabis plays that is starting to shape up. You might want to pay attention to that. Other places that you might look, you might take a look at like um, stocks like MU. MU are going to get a benefit um, out of the, the G20 because um, they will be allowed to uh, sell chips once again to Huawei. And as you can see, we're gapping up this morning. So you might want to keep an eye on these. Qualcomm, it uh, will also be one of those companies that should be getting a massive benefit from that. And you can see Qualcomm has been just kind of inching up, inching up, grinding higher. Now breaking through this resistance, filling that gap, breaking through this resistance, I think any rest or pullback in here could definitely set up an opportunity for a long trade in Qualcomm. You might also start looking at, at stocks like, um, you know, AMD. AMD getting a gap up this morning, looking really good. And I have been trading this to just for everyone. I'm in this trade and I've been trading this on a weekly chart. I'm up 90% in this trade using options. This is a beautiful weekly chart. And um, I think with this gap up this morning, it does give the opportunity that this could break right on through to all time new highs here on AMD. So you might want to keep an eye on some of these technology stocks. They're going to get a big benefit today um, um, with all of this love coming into the market. Another one you might want to take a look at is Microsoft. Microsoft has been holding nice and consistently right here at this little support area. And you can see this morning, Microsoft getting a lift here, a nice little gap up. Microsoft is one of those that has just been trending, 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 trending to the upside and uh, could be setting up that opportunity um, in the, in the chart. Lots of good charts to be paying attention to. Lots of stocks that are likely going to get some good love this morning. One of the stocks that I have been mentioning for a while is this nice little consolidation here in uh, McDonald's. And you can see how these trending patterns work so effectively. Place an alert on the chart, wait for the trade to come to you. And this trade alerted right here on this day. And you can see followed through on Friday and this morning gapping up.
So uh, blue sky above here on uh, McDonald's, uh, no resistance up there. Keep an eye on MCD. There may be some opportunity still in this trade. I've been mentioning TTWO is that same kind of pattern, that nice little trending pattern. After breaking through this resistance right here, consolidating that move over toward the trend, and you can see it looks like it's going to gap up here this morning. So there may be some opportunity um, here in TTWO coming in play so just another chart for everyone to kind of focus in on and, and maybe take a shot with it if you're looking for something in retail um, you might want to take a look at target target um, has been pulling back in this protracted little pullback but notice it had a really nice day on friday picking up here my price alert is in right here on the chart and it looks like we could open about where we closed uh, this morning, but any kind of lift above there would make me believe uh, Target has opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on that chart. So with that, everyone, hopefully that gives you a few charts to look at, a few things to pay attention to. I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you all great profits. And please remember, do me a favor and click that subscribe button and click those thumbs up and leave a short comment. That helps a lot. I truly appreciate it, you guys, you guys uh, that do that right now. I just can't thank you enough uh, for all your help and support with the channel. You guys are the best. Everyone take care. Have a great day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Tuesday morning. And I want to wish everyone a wonderful holiday week. Take care now.